so I'm actually getting ready to head out for a little dinner date with Brian and some new neighbors of ours. They are super cool. I'm so excited to be going out for the night and I actually was ready early and have makeup on so I figured I would film my next video. And these darn strapless bras. I'm wearing a strapless bra which right, right now which I never, oh I hate strapless bras. But do you guys know of, you know how they like start falling down and you just like feel like you're constantly having to pick that bra bag up? If you guys know any good strapless bras, like this is a Victoria's Secret one and they all do that to me. They all start heading south and you feel like your bra is like around like your waist. So if you guys know of any good ones that don't do that, seriously let me know because in the summer when you're wearing tanks and stuff, like you know, like just little, you know, like a little cami tank that I have on, I need a strapless bra and they just, like annoy me. Okay, enough about bras. Let's get into this haul video. Did I even say it was a haul video? Well, it's a haul video. I bought a bunch of new stuff recently, the past couple weeks, and I haven't gotten a chance to show it to you guys yet. And um, I've used a bunch of it, so I can tell you guys a little bit about it. When when I do my hauls, I don't just buy it and then show it to you. Like I like to buy it and use it a bunch of times and then show it to you. Like everybody does their hauls differently, but that's just the way I like to do it. So when I show you guys stuff, it's all stuff that I have used and can like give a little mini review on. Okay, let's get started with this haul. If you wanna see what I picked up recently, then just keep watching. Okay, I'm gonna start off with what is on my lips because I absolutely love it. I picked up the Givenchy lip liner. This is the, what is this? The lip liner number three, lip beige, I guess it's called. Anyway, it looks like this. That is what I have on as of my lip liner today. And it's just a beautiful peachy nude lip liner. Absolutely love it. I have never tried these lip liners before, but they feel really good on them. They're waterproof, so they have been lasting on my lips forever. They have not budged. They're creamy and they just make your lips look perfect. So I've been really liking this lip liner a lot. And then the lipstick I have on is the Givenchy Le Rouge Color Intense. And this, look at this case guys, look at this. It's like a faux like leather and silver case. Like it is absolutely stunning. And this was totally inspired by my friend on Instagram, Katie, who has like an awesome Instagram. I will leave her link down below. She always has like cool makeup pictures and all this stuff. She was talking about these and how it was like such a great formula and I was like, oh, I've never tried a Givenchy. Don't you just have to like say that like fancy when you say Givenchy? I always have to say it fancy. I've never tried any of these lipsticks. So I got this and it's so funny because I'm like looking at this thing, I literally couldn't figure out how to open it because it's kind of crazy, but I figured it out. So this is the shade 102 Beige Plume, but it is like, the, it's what I have on my lips and it's a beautiful peachy nude. It is so stunning and I ended up getting the lip liner because you know when you're shopping on Sephora it gives you like suggestions of what goes with it the lip liner came up as a suggestion to go with the lipstick and it's absolutely absolutely beautiful so that's the lip combination that I have right now and I have to say Katie you are so right this formula is so amazing it is so smooth so creamy it feels so good on your lips I absolutely love love this and I'm so glad I picked it up the color is perfect and I just love love this lipstick. Oh, and the lip liner actually came with a sharpener, like a pencil sharpener, which is perfect because I just lost my lip, my pencil sharpener when I moved and I was like, oh, when I opened it, I had no idea it came with it. I opened it, I was like, yes. Okay, moving on to a fragrance that I love for the spring and summer. It is by Chloe and it looks like this. I had this last spring, I believe, and I finished it up and I was thinking, I was like, I want to get another perfume um, and I didn't really just didn't really know which one to get, so I remember this one and I absolutely love it. It smells so good and I'm so bad at like describing scents or anything. Uh, but it's like a springy, like fresh scent and I'm gonna actually put some on now because I didn't put any on yet. And it smells so good and it's one of those scents that I can smell on me like all day long. Like the smell just like lingers on and it smells so good throughout the day. It's not one of those perfumes where you spray on and then like two hours later you don't smell anything. Like you can like get like a lingering scent like all day long from this. And I just really love it. It's just a perfect like spring and summer scent that I, I think so. So definitely try this one if you have not tried it and you're looking for like a really pretty spring girly scent. This is it. I picked up another beauty blender. This is the black, I think this is the Pro Beauty Blender, I think it's called, but then it also comes with like the solid 
Beauty Blender Cleanser. And I needed another black one. I really like the black one the best because it comes to more of a point and that's what I use every day to blend like the concealer under my eyes. So I needed another one of those and then I really, I have the Liquid Beauty Blender Cleanser right now. And at first I really thought I liked the liquid better than the solid, but like the, the way the container is where you have to like pump it to come out, it just makes a mess so bad every time I use it. And if you have it, you know what I'm talking about. So I pretty much just wanted to go back to the solid because it's so much easier. So now I have a solid beauty blender cleanser again. So I, that's pretty much my favorite cleanser for my brushes and the beauty blender. So I got another one of those. Okay, so while I was shopping at Sephora, this has been on my mind forever and I just had to get it. It is the Hourglass, the Ambient Lighting Bronzer. You guys know I love the Luminous Light one so much and that's the lighter of the two. So I had had to try the Radiant Bronzer, which is the darker. And I know they're fairly similar, but I love the Luminous one so much. I had to try the Radiant. And I was a little bit afraid of this one because people were saying that this one was more of the orangier of the two, but it's not. I absolutely love it. It's not orange on me, but let me just swatch it here. And that is the swatch of it right here. Now that's on the back of my wrist where I am like the whitest. You can see the color is more of a like coppery glow, but when it's on your skin, it does not look orange on me. It looks like a true like sun-kissed glow. So I really love it. I had no idea if I was gonna really like this one or, or not if I was gonna have to return it, but I really like it and I'm definitely gonna keep it because I've worn it a bunch of times now and it just makes your skin look really sun-kissed. So I now have the Luminous and the Radiant and I'm so happy because honestly I love this bronzer so much. And I finally picked up one of the new Burberry Kisses. The lipsticks, these are the new ones that came out a few months ago and I could never wear the original Burberry lipsticks because of that scent and like every time you would put it on you could like taste that like scent and it was just ugh. but these came out and they have no scent anymore they're like reformulated and these are the Burberry Kisses so they're made to be a little bit more sheer than the original ones but they're not sheer like they're just not so opaque and thick kind of as the old Burberry ones were. So I ended up getting number 29, Blossom Pink, and I love it. It is so gorgeous. The packaging is still like exactly the same, and you can see that it's like a gorgeous pink color right here. And like I said, it's definitely not a sheer color. It is so beautiful on your lips. I have been wearing this one nonstop because it's just so easy to put on. And like I said, it's just like a beautiful wash of color without looking too made up or, you know, it's just like an everyday perfect lipstick. And I absolutely love this pink blossom pink shade. It's so perfect. Everyday pink shade, absolutely love it. And these are such winners. So then one more thing I picked up from Burberry, I picked up the Lip and Cheek Bloom. This is in number three, Hydrangea. And it's these lip and cheek colors and it's like a cream. But the packaging is so stunning on these. It looks like, it's like a little square and then you can see the color on the inside. But it's something that they say that you can wear on your cheeks or on your lips. And these are amazing. Let me just put a little bit more so you can see it good. It looks like that. That's the color I got. I absolutely love it. It just is like, it sinks into your skin and again, even in the, in the summer where my skin's more oily, it doesn't budge and it just looks so super natural. They have a bunch of really pretty colors and oh my gosh, I just love it. This is like a perfect, you know, springy pink cheek and I really, really love it. I think these are amazing and the case is so cute and I really like these. If you guys haven't tried these yet, I would definitely recommend these too. They're just so natural on your cheeks and feel really good. Stay on your cheeks forever. These are amazing. Okay, I have another lip product that my friend Katie totally inspired me to get. It is the YSL, the Rouge Couture. This is in the number 10. And I actually don't have any of these YSL lipsticks. I usually have the ones in the, I forget what they're called, like the ones in the circular tube. So I don't have any of these. And she was telling me, well, she had a picture on her Instagram and she was showing this thing. It's like her absolute go-to nudie pink shade. She said it's absolutely perfect. So she told me I needed it. So ah, I haven't even opened it yet and there's a chunk taken out of it. Okay, that's not cool YSL, but anyway, let's just show it. Um, this is the color and I can't believe it. It's so pretty though. Here is the swatch of it right here and that is, oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it. I have not worn this one yet, 
but that is just a total me color and I know I will absolutely get a lot of use out of that. Okay guys, I'm like debating on what I wanna show you next. I think I'm just gonna show you two things that you guys are just gonna think I'm absolutely crazy, you're gonna wanna kill me, but I'm gonna show you guys anyway. I picked up two more bronzers and I can't help myself. It is the spring and summertime and I just go absolutely bronzer crazy. I love my bronzers and I love trying new bronzers and I can't help myself. I just can't help myself. Do not judge me. I'm a bronzer crazy person. I can't help it. So we are going to get started with the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer. This is the new bronzer that just came out for the summer 2015 collection. And look at this. It is so cool. It's in like kind of like a kind of like a rubbery type of sleeve. Like the actual case is in there and it's just like kind of like a, it's kind of like a, it's like a cell phone sleeve or something. Remember those like old like cell phone sleeves? Like that's what, kind of what it's like, but it's super cool. I love it. This is in the shade um, number two, the natural blondes. So, I mean, I didn't get this because of, oh, look at that. You can, yeah, you can, you can see the, oh yeah, it like comes off. Um, so it is like kind of like a little, it's like a little case for it. How cute. So like I was saying, I didn't get it just because I have blonde hair. I just actually just got it because it looked like one that I would like. And I think this is more of the golden tone one. The one for brunettes, I feel like, I think was a little bit more of like a redder undertone. But I went with this one because this is the type of tone that I like. And it is so pretty. I wore this now a good handful of times. And it's so pretty that's the color of it right here it is fantastic it blends into your skin beautifully it is a great color on my skin tone and it's not like like i'm not really into matte colors right now but this kind of it's like matte but like with a glow like a very like mild glow so it doesn't make your skin look flat and i just really like it and i think the tone of it is absolutely beautiful and the case is just so stinking cute so I am loving that bronzer. Along with the rest of my bronzers, guys, love it. Okay, so for the next bronzer and the last bronzer I have to show you guys, at least for a while, it is the Vita Liberata bronzer. It comes with this awesome little brush. This is in the shade number two, number two bronze, it says. They sent this to me a long time ago um, to see if we wanted to carry it because we carry the self tanners, which are the most amazing self tanners. And I have had this sitting in my drawer forever now and I have not used it. So what they claim is that you can put this, this is like your facial bronzer, but that it will actually, you know, after a couple uses, will leave like a very mild tan to your skin. So I don't really think that's gonna happen with that. I honestly don't. I've used this a couple times now. I don't see anything different with my skin color wise but it is the most fabulous bronzer of life. I love it so much. That's the bronzer that I have on today and I just love it. So it's like a mineral bronzer, which I don't usually go for. I don't usually go for these type of like loose powder bronzers, but this is just totally different. It's so amazing. The color of it is just such a perfect, perfect color. It looks like you stepped off the beach. I'm not even joking. And all I do, the brush that comes with it, I'm telling you guys, it's like a magical brush. It is so soft and it applies the bronzer perfectly. Like I don't think I would use any other brush with this. And I'm just going to apply like a little bit more. I'm just, all I do is like take it and I just dust it on. Oh, and the color is just so fantastic. And it is just like a beautiful sun tanny bronzer. I really love it so much. Let me do a swatch of it so you can see it like next to my other bronzers here. All right, so here's a swatch of it next to the girl on one I showed you. You can see it's more of a perfect brown tan shade. It's just, it is just gorgeous, guys. Like I said, I can't stop wearing it. I really love it. And I'm usually not drawn to bronzers like this. That's why I never... I, I did not open this for months and finally I was like, let me just try it out. I'm, gonna, I'm in the mood to try something new. Let me try it out and I love it. And then the last thing I picked up, which I've been loving, loving as well, is the Guerlain. This is the powder, the transparent powder basically is what it's called. This is in the number shade, the number shade. This is in the number four shade and it looks like this. It's in a beautiful gold or I, what is wrong with me? It is in a beautiful silver packaging and it's just a transparent powder, like a setting powder and oh no, I'm getting it all over me. I am a mess today, guys, so a serious mess. Anyway, it looks like this. It's, like I said, this is a number four shade. It really doesn't lay down any color, but 
you don't, I didn't want to go, you know, you don't want to wear a transparent powder that's too light because then it can kind of leave, leave like a ghostly cast to you. So this one is absolutely perfect for like medium skin tones. It sets your makeup so flawlessly. I can't even tell you guys. Like it takes away pores. It just leaves your skin looking totally airbrushed and flawless. I love it so much. This is probably one of the best like setting transparent powders that I've ever used. I'm so happy with this. Really, really love it. And it's just, this was just like such a good find. I really love it. So that's everything I picked up recently. I hope you guys enjoyed. And no judging on the bronzers. I told you, I can't help myself. I have a problem. I realize that. My friend and I always joke that we like makeup anonymous meetings because we just can't control ourselves. But that's the beauty and the fun of this channel. So hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thank you all so much for watching and subscribing and being here with me. I love you all and I will see you in my next video. Bye.